Good morning. So we're gonna get started on our pre-workout meal. It is day one of daylight savings time, so it is 6.30. Really 5.30, but it's 6.30. So anyways, uh, today we're gonna go to the gym. We're gonna go to the big gym today. I'm going with our dear old dad. So anyways, I wanted to have um, my meal before the gym. So we're gonna take uh, some Quaker oats. This is just the old, like the one minute oats. I'm taking 40 grams of this. I'm gonna take 16 grams of PB Fit, and I'm gonna take one medium banana and one small gala apple. This is about four ounces, or yeah, 4.3 ounces, and this is um, just a medium, a medium banana. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook that up, and then we're gonna eat that. And that's when I come to the gym today. Today's just going to be, I don't know if it's going to be a full day of eating or a follow me along vlog. I don't know how it's going to be, but we'll see what it turns into. But anyways, good morning. Welcome. Let's All right, so here is that oatmeal. So what I like, what how I preference my oatmeal is to be kind of like soupy. Um, so I just add a little bit more water as I keep going. That's just my preference. I feel like a little, it makes it actually go a little bit further too. So that's how I like to make it. Um, and then I just topped it with that banana and this apple pie spice. I don't know if you guys ever tried this before, but it's really, really good. Um, it's like nutmeg and cinnamon and all those types of stuff. So um, threw that on there. So we're ready to go. We're going to have that and then we'll get ready to leave. But and then I want to show you. Today is actually Sunday. I don't think I'm going to do any of my meal prep today. I think I'm going to push it off tomorrow because today we're going to have family over and... It's going to be corned beef. Corned beef and cabbage, you know, south side Irish. If you guys are from the south side of Chicago, you already know. So, um, yeah, we're going to do some corned beef. We got our cabbage and our potatoes. We're going to do those later. But how we cook our corned beef is just in the crock pot. I just um, throw it in with a little bit of water and the seasoning packet and then cook that down. And then I will add in towards like the later half. Um, I will add in the cabbage and the potatoes. Um, I'll actually add in the potatoes probably in about two hours. And then at the four hour mark, I will add in the um, cabbage. So, and that's just crack pot saying it's ready. So, anyways, let's go ahead and eat and get our butts ready to make this day happen. All right, my friends, welcome back. We ate our breakfast. It's 7.09, we have to get going. So let's get our stuff figured out for our pre-workout. We're gonna have the Strawberry Burst 1-Up pre-workout. I'm actually almost finished with this one. And we're gonna toss in some L-carnitine. I guess they don't make the liquid L-carnitine anymore. It's only in powder form. And then I'm gonna have my BCAAs while I'm working out. I've been dry scooping this because I've been running short on time. I absolutely hate dry scooping. I think it does hit you a lot quicker, but oh, it's just, it's too much. So I'm not going to do that today because I just I want to have a good day. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get this started. We're going to get to the gym. Today is going to be our third leg day of the week. Three, yes, three. So I focus on more uh, strength training today. So I try to do not as many reps, but a lot higher of weight. I to set some new PRs, so we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna go with my dad, and I help my dad too. Like, I help spot him, which I don't know what I'm gonna help because if that bar falls, he's done for because he has some massive weight. But, you know, support. I'm glad that he trusts me. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a good day. I'm thinking about what I'm gonna cook up. I might cook up a few things just to get ready for the week. Um, but there's gonna be no massive prep today. I'll probably, I have some steak I'm probably gonna cook up. I'm probably gonna make some potatoes and some rice for the week. And I think that's probably gonna be it. We'll have the corned beef. I'm not gonna, damn it, that's actually supposed to go in here. I'm not gonna eat a lot of that corned beef because the fat content is so high. Like the fat and protein content match, it's wild. So, um, and my, my fat macros need to, uh, are pretty low i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna lie to you guys these last few days because i started my cycle i have been like an empty freaking like pit like i could not stop eating i just been so hungry and i've been really trying to like eat like better things you know i'm not like just going off the rails but i'm like dang i'm hungry so and like literally like, where you hear my stomach so I'm, like, my stomach's making noise i gotta eat so I'm a little bloated today. Today's only day three of my cycle, and this is the worst day of the week, for the worst day of the day for me. After today, it's smooth sailing. 
so yeah. We did our taxes. Next time. All right, we are back from the gym. All right, so that was, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, that was like one of the first times I actually was able to get some clips in the gym, um, especially at the new gym. So I'm getting more comfortable filming myself in public, especially at the gym. Um, at Planet Fitness, I used to get, people used to tell me like to turn it off. Um, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable and confident. So um, yeah. And then my dad told me that next weekend he'll help me film too. I did really good. I hit a new PR today on leg press and I did, where's Leo? You here? Yeah. 670 pounds. For what? For leg pressing. Wow, good job. Yeah, right, 670 pounds. I did 670 pounds and I did six sets. And my last one, that 670, I only did six, a leg press of six. But that was pretty impressive, I thought. Six, 670? More than I ever did. Yeah, well. And then even like the owner, the owner was there and he was like, good job. Like that was a lot. And then what sucks is that you have to re-rack all your weight plates. And, I was like, and he said, just leave one on, just leave one on, it's fine. And I was like, okay, well I got like six on each side or seven, I think it was seven. But yeah, so I did pretty good. I did a lot of legs today. So I did the squats and I did about 180 pounds and I did six sets of 12. I did leg extensions at 50 pounds and I did five sets of 12. I did leg presses, I think at six or seven sets, like between six and 10, depending on the weight. Um, what else did I do? I did the dead, uh, dumbbell deadlifts, which you've seen. Um, so I have to use those grips uh, just because my, my grip is so low. And I did 50 pounds with the last one and I did five sets of 15. I've been really loving the compound movements and I've been actually noticing because I haven't been wearing my waist trainer. I actually have to buy a new one, guys. I didn't wash it enough and I think I'm allergic to latex and I think this thing on my back is more of a rash than um, acne at this point. So I have to get the neoprene one because I'm, I'm allergic to latex. So I think that's what's causing the like the breakout of my back a lot too. Um, and yeah, so I did 50 pounds. I thought that was really good. And I've been feeling it a lot in my belly. Like I feel like it's working my gut, like my core too. So I, that's pretty good. Um, a lot of people ask like ab exercises I do. I don't do any. I just do a lot of compound movements. Um, I did hack squats. I did five sets of 12 with 45 pounds on each side. So what is that? 80, 90 pounds. And then I did um, individual hamstring curls, which I've been really loving the individual ones. I do about 20 pounds on each leg just to make sure I'm really focusing and doing like um, individual, you know, really focusing on each leg. And then I did, I ended it with about 25 minutes of cardio. Um, I did, I do my, I did the treadmill at no incline at about 3.8 for about 25 minutes. So it was pretty, pretty good. I was really happy with how everything was working out. So um, now we're gonna eat. Now it's time to eat. Uh, what are we gonna have? We are gonna have pretty much the same breakfast you guys probably seen in my last full day of eating. Uh, we're gonna do some hash browns, turkey bacon. We're gonna do it on a wrap. Um, 
I got a different wrap this time too. So uh, what are we gonna have? We're gonna have 200 grams of egg whites. And you guys know I, I pre-plan my meals for the day. Um, I had to be a little bit weird. So my dinner is gonna be really light because I am gonna have some corned beef, but I'm only gonna have three ounces because like I told you, three ounces is full of fat. Um, so for breakfast, uh, I try to have my biggest meal of the day as my first meal because I figure if my biggest meal, I try to figure it like, big, medium, and less as the day goes on. So like a reverse triangle, because I'll have the whole day to burn the whole first meal, you know what I mean? So um, it's about 9.50 right now. So I'm gonna have 200 grams of egg whites, five pieces of turkey bacon, turkey bacon, a laughing cow cheese, and a high fiber tortilla wrap, and hash browns. Yeah, ooh, it smells good, like a fabric softener. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have about 1.34 cups of Hash browns. So I'll make that and then I always ask about the bacon. This is the Columbus turkey bacon, and I just want to show you. Look at how nice it cooks up. This is the best turkey bacon. It's nice and thick, and it doesn't have like that thin rubbery taste, and it fries up really well. I get mine at Costco. I think the it's a four pack, and I think it's about 12 bucks. So not not too bad, but very, very good. So we got those cooking. Our hash browns are already done, and then we're gonna cook up our eggs but real easy, high protein, and getting some good carbs in there as well. Here's our plate. That is sugar-free ketchup, by the way. I just like the way sugar-free ketchup tastes on hash browns. I think it's the shit. Uh, tortilla, I'm using these Olay Wellness ones. I ran out of the other, and then I'm gonna add in a laughing cow cheese and just kind of make a breakfast burrito and then eat the rest. But nonetheless, this is what our breakfast is looking like. I'll show you guys a macro breakdown at the end, but um, yeah, just trying to really watch my intake here you know what i mean make good movements move my body accordingly just kind of track what i'm eating and just try to be the best me i can be that's all i can do you know what I mean? give you guys an update on the corned beef situation here we had already tossed in the potatoes so those are in there and we are about to add in the cabbage um we have two crock pots going we have one because we put three um corned beef briskets and eat uh two in one and one in here so the thing is when you have a corned beef, if you've never made it before, it really shrinks. These are, um, and there's two cuts. There's a flat cut and there's a point cut. We get all of ours flat cut because it has less fat on it. Um, but nonetheless, these are where the potatoes are. So we're gonna cut up the cabbage and we're gonna toss in some carrots as well. But this one only has one um, brisket in there. All right, Lee, let's show them. And then this is, that looks pretty good, huh? Mm. So you could probably put some of the cabbage in this one too. Okay. It absorbs some of the oil and the grease, and then put the other one in there. So, slowly but surely. Yeah. I also we ran some Mariano's. I got some flowers because my other ones had um, already seen better days. And then my nephew's coming, and he got his re uh, progress report, and he did really good. He's in preschool, so I wanted to pick him up some little trinkets. I got him little Batman Hot Wheels. And then I got him this like old Bel Air and he has the exposed motor. Kind of cool, right? I don't know. I just like to get him little trinkets and stuff like that. So picked those up. But yeah, it's 1230. That workout today, I was just telling Leo, like I haven't, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I haven't been having any coffee and it's really been dragging. So I'm going to actually have one of those Celsius waters. If you guys haven't had Celsius water, how about it, Lee? What do you think about the Celsius? They're really good. They're the really that peach mango one I had was pretty good. Um, I think bangs are really strong. Um, these ones are not as strong. I think they're super refreshing too. So I'm gonna have one of those, take a shower, kind of fix myself up and like dry shampoo my hair. But today here is the Southside Irish Parade, so it's it's pretty congested out there. But yes, that's about it. About it. I'm tired. This hour thing is kind of kicking my butt as well. So all right, I'm gonna take a shower and then we will have some. All right, so I'm gonna start my lunch really quickly. This is what we're gonna have. I'm actually just gonna cook this all up in hopes that um, we're gonna split this between lunch and dinner. Just because the corned beef guys, just for such a little amount, is just not worth the macros to me. And I mean, I like corned beef, but I'm not like ride or die for it. Um, I really just like like the cabbage and the potatoes and the carrots myself So that's what I'm really gonna have and some like rye bread um, That was always my favorite growing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this up I'm just gonna fry it up with just some salt and pepper and garlic in a frying pan really quickly and just I just want to give you guys a little quick peek So I do add on like a little bit like a half of a white onion and I chop it up just to kind of give it a little bit more volume because 
it's really once you pick up this meat it shrinks so just add a little bit more um and then you get some nutrients from the onion as well i don't really count in my vegetables but hold on let me give you my reasoning why so if you guys have never heard of i think her name is kerrigan kerrigan hike maybe she is an ifbb pro she does like bikini she's beautiful i mean killer shape and I, I follow her and I listen to her a lot. I even believe she has a YouTube channel, but I follow her mostly on Instagram. And she said that she does not count her vegetables. She's like, I do not count them because I don't want to limit my fiber intake. And I need to make sure I'm getting those. And I feel like if I start counting them, I'm going to start limiting them. She says, when I count carbs for me, she's like, it's the grains. And I was like, girl, you're right. You're right. So I'm not going to do it either. You know, also, though, I'm not in prep. She's in prep. I'm not in prep. I'm just like on a fitness journey. So maybe if I like had to like get into a competition or something, maybe I would at a later date. But for right now, no, I'm not I'm not worrying about a little bit of onion or something like that. But this is pretty much done. And then it does give off a ton of water as well. Um, it's pretty good, though. Good. It's one of the more affordable cuts as well. So which nothing's affordable anymore, but nonetheless. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and let this finish cutting or cooking up just a few more minutes and I'm going to wipe off my counters because they're getting messy. All right, my friends, we had a change of plans. We ended up having to use a low carb wrap because those had way too much fat in them and I'm, I'm already over my fat macros by like eight grams today and I try to keep it within 10. And the macros, guys, I'm not even going to lie, I'm not even hitting them the way I need to today. We're going to be a little short on some things, but... Um, we're just kind of eating what's left in the fridge today and I don't really have that much groceries I gotta cook. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make do with what we got. But anyways, and I wanted to share this with you guys too because I feel like not every day is like on day and everything is like um on point, but I try. And today's one of those days, you know, where it's not exactly on point, but I'm trying and I'm trying to just not have like super, like be super precise, but at least be consistent. I feel like consistency is key, even if you're not hitting, hitting the, the bullseye every time, but at least I'm, you know, working towards it. So anyways, um, here is that five ounces of that meat on a Ole low carb wrap. That is one tablespoon, so about 15 grams of, um, daisy light sour cream and then i put some um, salsa on there that we have and then um, i'm going to have one of the good culture cottage cheeses for some extra protein and then the quest sweet chili spicy sweet chili whatever chips these are my favorite but yeah that's what we're going to eat and looks good this is going to fall apart awesome. well sometimes because that one was probably on the bottom right yeah yeah, that happens. It's okay. When you put two in there, sometimes the bottom one gets a little overdone. Yeah. But just probably leave it out. Leave it in that pan like you have it. Mm -hmm. Um. Looks good though. Looks real yummy. And then in here, I'm sure. Over up here. And then that's how, and then you can see all the cabbage, the carrots, and the corned beef. And then they're snacking on some Irish soda bread, right, Ray? Show <laughs> your Irish soda bread. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, like it? Let it focus. It's focused. It's good. There you go. What do you, how do you explain Irish soda bread? What do you think it tastes like? Conchas. You think it tastes like conchas? Yes, yeah, raisins. <laughs> no I think it does. I think it's, it's sugary it's, like them. It's, it's, just, it's just bread. I think conchas are better. I think they're more sugary. But these are like dry because conchas are sugar are dry too. Yeah. It's not like a really, kind of like raisin bread. Not like not. It's, it's kind of like, like a, raisin bread. It's like a dry raisin bread with a sugar crust. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like super sweet like a banana bread or anything no. or like moist like a banana bread. It's Ew. just really dry. I know it's an ugly <laughs> word, but that's these yeah. are just dry bread. They're pretty good though. He's just waiting for a drop. Anything. He's like, come on, someone, make my day. All right. So I want to show you quickly what we're having here. Um, this is going to be dinner. I came into Becky's room to film this because I didn't want to interrupt everybody eating. But I have five ounces of the top round steak right there. Um, just a little serving of uh, cabbage and carrot. Um, two ounces of rye bread and four ounces of red potato. I decided against the corned beef just because it just it just wasn't worth it to me with the um, protein content because the fat content was so high. Briskets are like that. They're super fatty, but everybody's eating we've had lots of companies so everybody's enjoying it so nothing will go to waste so this kind of worked out anyways but i love uh the cat this has always been my favorite part anyways um i never really even been a potato person but i needed to up my carbs but look at this guy 
Um, I love the cabbage part. That's always been my favorite because it like cooks in um, uh, the, with, and it gets kind of the meat, the flavor of the corned beef, but without actually eating the corned beef. So that's my favorite. And I don't add anything to it, no butter or anything like that. So um, I never did though. I've never really been a big butter person. But yeah, this big old plate is what's for dinner. All right, so we are back. These kids are driving me nuts. This daylight savings time. All right, let's wrap up this full day. So it was a really nice day. My nephew came, it was great. It was a great day. My sister-in-law, it was really nice. But since we did lose the hour this morning, it's kind of wild. But I wanna go after, I wanna go ahead and go through the macros of today. So you guys can kind of see, I'm looking really ghostly here. Okay, so for breakfast, Okay, let's just skip all that. My grand total intake of calories, my goal is 1,986 and I made 1,985. So I was right about there. Um, I did tell you that I wasn't going to be spot on. I try to stay within 10 and don't go plus or minus 10. Um, protein, my goal is 188 and, or I'm sorry, my goal is 203 and I came in at 188. Carbs goal is 203, I came in at 195. So a short 15 of protein and eight of carb. And my goal for fat is 45 and I came in at 53. So I was um, under, I went over by eight, which isn't bad. I am, this whole thing with, the thing is about macros is each body responds differently, right? Some people respond better to be on a high protein diet. Some people respond better on being more high carb and moderate protein. Some people respond better to higher fat. It each varies. And since I've been kind of abusing my metabolism and my body for so many years with extreme calorie deficits and, you know, basically eliminated a whole entire food group is I'm learning to listen to my body and what it likes. So the last few days, I'm not gonna lie, as I said, I was on my cycle and I just wasn't eating the, the best. I was going over, I tracked everything. I just went over, I was hungry and I ate. So, um, you know, today was, today was okay. Um, <laughs> now Leo's. Oh, goodness. But I think it was a pretty good day. I hope you guys liked the clips of the gym. If you guys liked it, let me know. I'm getting more confident. If you guys want to see more, I think I can do more. Um, like I said, I'm getting more gym partners now, too, so I can get, like, some really good angles. Like, I talked to my dad, and my dad said he would help me um, get some uh, really good clips in the gym. He's like, why didn't you get your leg presses, and why didn't you do this? And I was like, I don't know. So I'm actually going to go tomorrow and get a new tripod, too, like, what are they called? Like the ones with the flexible leggings? Oh my gosh. These kids. Um, the ones with the flexible leggings. <laughs> Everybody is so like slap happy and goofy in this house right now. I can't. So, and poor Leo, his whole eye is swollen from his thigh. So it's just crazy around here. But I'm really excited for, I really want, I feel like if I, if I start recording my, my fitness routine a little bit more, I feel like it'll really, um, uh, add more pizzazz to these videos so let me know down below but all right I'm gonna wrap this video up um I know this wasn't like a normal full day it's just like a regular day in I don't know a fit vlog that's just what we're gonna call it all right I'm out of here I'll see y'all in the next one bye friends